Cats Can Fast All Day A Farm Story with Cats, Sheep, Hens and Horses Written by Elizabeth Lima and told by Khadija Aslam With Alicia Iqbal and Asad Iqbal Introducing the farm animals in the story The two cats, Squeaky and Cleany The two sheep, Grazer and Jumper The two hens, Pecky and Speckle and the two horses, Clip and Trot. The farm animals think that it is easier for cats to worship Allah than it is for them, because cats are the only animals who can fast all day and they can sleep through doing it. However, the cats soon show the other animals that all forms of worship can make the worshipper happy, and they introduce the animals to the most delightful worship of all. I'd love to be able to fast all day as cats can, said Grazer the sheep. Jumper nodded. They sleep almost all day so fast and easy for them, added Pecky the hen. Speckle nodded. I feel like cats can worship Allah better than us, sighed Clip the horse. Trot nodded. Up in the barn loft, Cleany the cat was fasting and was fast asleep. Squeaky was only resting. She wasn't fasting. She was tired with carrying baby kittens in her tummy, but she wasn't too tired to hear the animals talking below. Oh dear, thought Squeaky. How can I put this right? The next day, Cleany woke up after noontime and made Dohar Salah. Squeaky said to him, Come with me to see the sheeps making Salah together. The cats watched the sheep finish Salah. Cleany looked sad. I am awake so little of the day. I rarely gather with other animals to make salah, he said, and he walked away. Squeaky checked that the sheep had heard and then followed Cleany. After another sleep, Cleany made Usser salah. Then Squeaky said, Come with me to listen to the hens remembering Allah. The cats listened to the hens chatting about Allah. Cleany looked sad again. I get so sleepy. I rarely talk about Allah, he said, and he walked away. Squeaky checked that the hens had heard, and then followed Cleany. After another sleep, Cleany made Mugrib Salah. Then Squeaky said, Come with me to see the horses giving charity and praying. The cats watched Clip take his fruit cart to the farm gate so that people could come and collect free fruit. Then they listened to Trot pray for the people who came. Cleany looked sad again. I sleep so long, I really have time for giving charity and praying for others, he said, and he walked away. Squeaky checked that the horses had heard and then followed Cleany. After Isha Salah that night, the hens, horses, and sheep all thought about how they could help cleaning to worship Allah like them. The next day, at Doher Salah time, Grazer and Jumper the sheep called their dan loudly. Cleany woke up and joined the flock of sheep for Salah. Then the sheep asked Cleany to go and sleep by the hen coop. At Usr Salah time, the hens woke Cleany and made Salah with him. Afterwards, they clucked remembrances of Allah. Alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, subhanallah, Allahu Akbar. Then they asked Cleany to go and sleep in Trot's stable. At Maghrib time, Clip and Trot woke up Cleany and made salah with him. Afterwards, Trot made prayers for passers-by. And then Clip let Cleany help him deliver his fruit to the farm gate. At nightfall, all the animals gathered in the barn for Isha Salah. Afterwards, they chatted. We've had the best day worshipping Allah, said Grazer and Jumper, the sheep. So we have, agreed Pecky and Speckle, the hens. I feel too excited to sleep, said Clip. Yes, I'm wide awake, agreed Trot. Squeaky nudged Cleany. Haven't you had a better day today? She asked. Cleany looked sad still. Yes, he replied. Everyone has helped me worship Allah more than ever by letting me join in with them. But I haven't done anything to help anybody. Squeaky addressed the group. Has anybody stayed awake for night salah before? 
she asked. We haven't, answered Grazer and Jumper. We haven't, answered Pecky and Speckle. We haven't, said Clip and Trot. I have, said Cleanie, feeling worse. I've been doing everything without helping anybody else, he thought. And then he thought some more. Would you like to join in the night salah with me? Cleany asked the group. The animals loved the night salah more than any salah they had ever made before. And from that night on, they never complained about Cleany's daytime sleeping and fasting again. Some days, Cleany joined in with their worship. Some nights, they joined him in the night salah. Some nights, they were too tired and went to sleep. But they always went to sleep happy and at peace, knowing that somebody was making the beautiful night salah to worship Allah. When Squeaky's kittens were born, everyone was excited to teach them how to make salah, so that they could know the peace and beauty of salah, day and night. The End Masalam from all at the